Howdy folks, this is Bill with the Hamilton Handyman and uh, I just wanted to do an update video on some of the tools that we use on a daily basis. Um, maybe not every day, but these are regular handyman tools that you're going to use. This is my main set of tools here. Uh, I'll kind of go through it with you. So I'm not going to go through every tool here, but I have a bucket and in the bucket we have a whole assortment of different tools. These are This is my bucket that I go to uh, when I don't know what I'm getting into. Spool wrenches, pencil, level, pry bars, hammer, that sort of thing. This is our electrical um, bag. This is something we just got or added recently. Um, with all the electrical work that we do, we do a lot of panel changeovers, things like that. So uh, a lot of times you don't have power, so you need some light, bubble level, screwdrivers, tape, pouch, tape measure, some extra wire, conduit glue. And this is uh, Allen Keys in here in this bag. Inside of here, this is just a bit box. That's what I use this for. Just a wide variety of different bits that we've picked up. And then these are the wire nuts, electrical stuff. This is probably something I use every single day uh, on just about every job. But you gotta have an assortment of different screws. Um, I like the T25 deck screws, but there's cap cons in here. Here's another size of deck screw. Here's yet another size. Here's some drywall screws. Another size of deck screw. Wall anchors. We run into need those pretty often. Some ring shanks. And some self tappers. And then some long three inch deck screws. This is just drill bits. Nothing real fancy here. And then inside of here, this is our uh, consumables for our electrical. So just different things like breakers, we got um, box adapters, just different outlets, receptacles, just all the different consumables that you can think of. Things that you would ordinarily have to go to the hardware store and buy. And I really enjoy the pack out. Um, it's my one of my favorite ways to hold on to the tools. And then uh, this is, of course, it's exactly what it looks like. That's how I like to keep those. I keep with batteries in there. And then that way I know exactly where they are. Now, this is a, a friend of mine showed me uh, this next little trick here. This is a, these are real cheap. They're like 10 bucks over at a Home Depot. But they're closing boxes. They're just plastic. I got all my batteries in there. All um, in my, my M12s, my 18s. All of them all in one spot. I've done this where I have the, an old blade here. So I bet you can't guess what's in there. If you guessed oscillating tool, you're wrong. It's two oscillating tools. I got the 12 and the 18 in there. Bunch of blades and a battery. That way if I just need this tool, I just grab it and go. Inside of here, Sawzall. Got road on it. So I've got the two hack saws. Inside of here is my M12 set. This is really important because sometimes that's all you need. I, I really recommend this one. Uh, if you're going to do the M12, do catalog number 2504-20. And the 12 volt, it's really powerful. It's done me very well in the impact. There's nothing in this box currently. Um, I've taken everything out of it. Um, and that's why I have all these little boxes here. And that's kind of what used to go in there. So I'm a little bit more organized. There's the angle grinder. Now.
Now, that's for your general, um, I would say, general handyman items. These are things that I use almost every, at least every week. The shop back especially. Uh, you know, if you're in a customer's home and you're doing any kind of work, you need to clean up after yourself and having a portable uh, shop vac has really made it faster and easier. So when I do service calls, I'm doing, um, I'm using less time because I'm not having to go find an outlet, plug in. And then over here in this rigid box, this was my first uh, rolling toolbox set. Um, it's very near and dear to me. All my plumbing stuff goes in here. So there's about ten million dollars worth of pecs in here. If you've ever if you've ever had to go buy a pex item, it feels like that. A whole bunch of different pex items and then cutters. Um, just everything you would need to do a job in pex other than the pipe itself. If I was just starting out and I was, somebody asked me, I would definitely recommend these rigid boxes. Um, they're a lot cheaper than the Milwaukee and they are just as good Now in this box, this is pretty much a mechanical box So inside of here is just wrenches sockets torque wrench Just mechanical stuff super heavy too Oh, yeah Okay, and then in here This is uh some more miscellaneous plumbing things, uh, hole saws, um, gloves. When you're working on toilets, you want gloves. There's some power grab in there, bubble level, what have you. Drain stuff, tape measure. I'm always in the middle of measuring some pipes or something and I can't, I need a tape measure. It smells like the primer's leaking in here, pretty strong. Just different different fittings and whatnots for PVC drain drain lines and you know I didn't go out and just buy these all in one day as you can tell that bottom one's way more worn out than that one this one's the newest addition uh, along with this one I bought these at the same time None of these things were built overnight. This is over years of needing something and buying it. We got our little charging station here. Assortment of chemicals. We got our compound miter saw. Um, overall, the most important tools that I have with me that I use every day are my oscillating multi-tool, my ladder, and my drills. Those are like first things I would buy. Um, if I was starting all over again All right, everybody. Well, I uh, appreciate you tuning in if you have any questions uh, feel free to ask